You know when something crazy happens and someone's like, it's okay, I've seen way worse. <laughs> Everything I saw you do today is gonna be my way worse. It's my least favorite part of the job. I don't know. Renfield is a 2023 action comedy horror movie directed and produced by Chris McKee and written by Ryan Ridley. It's also inspired by the character from the novel Dracula by Bram Stoker and stars Nicholas Holt, Aquafina, and Nicolas Cage. The story is about Renfield, the tortured aide for Dracula, who longs for a life away from the Count and his various demands, as well as the bloodshed that goes along with it. He's evil. We will protect you. You have the word of the most trusted institution on Earth, the Catholic Church. So I just got back from watching Renfield and I had a blast with this movie. Wow, what a fun, absolutely entertaining ride this movie is. But just to warn you, this is not really what I would consider a horror movie per se. It's in that genre, but it's much more of a comedy action movie, very much more in that direction with horror as more of the motif, the setting for this story. I don't think there's much of anything that's scary in this. There's a couple scenes with the Count, with Nicolas Cage that could be possibly considered scary, but you gotta go into this kind of checking your brain at the door, just go in for a good time, for a silly ride, and this movie will deliver. It's really well written and surprised me with how clever the humor is in it. There's just a lot of jokes and setup that is not your normal, like, stupid humor. This is actually a very funny movie, but done in a well-written way. It's clever. It knows what it's doing. And it never stops. Every time you feel like a joke or, or a setup for something really funny is over, and you're like, you know, felt like you've laughed the length, it hits you again. It's like it, one, two punches every time. It's just an absolute fantastic time at the movies. I went with my sister, and I was telling her that this is probably my favorite type of movie experience where you get your goodies you know in my case i got some of the nerds the little nerd bites which are fantastic highly recommend those and i got one of the little pizzas and it was just so entertaining and such an enjoyable experience to be with my sister for her birthday happy birthday by the way Because this movie is one that's just there to entertain. It doesn't have any political agendas. It doesn't, it's not trying to push anything on you. It doesn't have some hidden message. It's just very fun with a really kind of wholesome message to it. But the real standout, the absolute reason to see this movie is Nicolas Cage. I swear he was born for this role because I don't know where the movie stops and he begins. I don't know how much of this was written as a character and how much of it is just him being Nicolas Cage. He's perfect. I mean, absolutely perfect for this role. He is so menacing, but yet funny at times, but not in a way that's meant to be funny. It's just, he's performing this character so well and the setups and situations are so over the top that at times I found myself just busting up laughing. I wasn't even sure at times if things were meant to be a joke or it's just the overall situation is so over the top that it becomes funny. And the gore, holy shit, the gore is incredible. It is so gruesome and so over the top, but in a very, very funny way. I found myself actually enjoying the fact that it was obvious CGI because it just adds to the overall kind of silly, zany, almost cartoon level that this movie is because like I said at the top it's not a scary movie this is a very much funny exciting fun ride kind of movie but as silly as it is it also doesn't really feel like it's a try hard movie it doesn't feel like it's trying to force this comedy at you it feels very comfortable in this environment and in this world that it creates and Nicholas Holt and Aquafina also do a great job in this I'm not a huge fan of Aquafina and her type of humor but she's definitely toned back enough that I felt like she actually does fit in this movie and once again doesn't feel try hard too often when i see her in movies and this is just my personal opinion because i know a lot of people love her but i feel like she's just kind of has this try hard sense of humor where she's just a thousand miles an hour and never slows down to breathe and so if you're not digging what she's doing it just can be too much but in this movie she feels like she's turned back enough and the humor comes to her enough and she just plays the part that she's meant to play and doesn't 
kind of not trying to make the movie about her, that it, she actually does a really good job and is very funny in this. And Nicholas Holt is so likable and lovable, just has a lot of charm in this movie. Just another character in this that just feels very entertaining and fun to watch. You just feel yourself rooting for this character. But once again, I gotta go back to Nicolas Cage because he is so phenomenal in this movie that you can actually find yourself feeling sad when he's off the screen. Luckily, we get plenty of him in this. And that was something I was a little worried about of like how sparingly would he be used. But he's in this movie quite a bit. There's huge parts of this movie movie where he is the focal point but I also thought it has a really nice story to it as well so it's not just full of action and gore and comedy it does have some bones there is a story that it's telling that I thought was rather well done as well another thing that I really loved was the Easter eggs and the way they used the old legendary classic Dracula I, I don't want to spoil what they do but it's done pretty much right away and it's really creative and clever. So as you can tell, I absolutely love this movie. There isn't anything I would change about it because as long as you embrace it for what it's trying to do, I don't think you can do a better job of doing what it's trying to do. If you go into this looking for a horror movie, then you'll pick it apart and not be happy with it. If you go into it looking for anything more than just to be entertained and have some laughs, then you might not get what you're looking for either. But if you go into it with the right expectations, I think you'll absolutely have a blast with it. So I highly recommend going out to a theater and giving it a look. I deserve happiness. Let me explain something to you, okay? You deserve only suffering. I will unleash an army of death. Everyone you care about will suffer because you betrayed me. So that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and ding that little bell because that's the best way to keep track of this channel and when I post videos and I post videos like this every single week. And I also wanna give a huge, massive, enormous thank you to the Ghost Pirate crew, to you guys over on Patreon and to the channel members over here. You guys mean absolutely the world to me. Thank you so, so much for your support. And if you'd like to find out how you can help support this channel over on Patreon, there's a link down in the description. Or if you want to become a channel member, there's a little button right down there that says join. And like always, thank you so much for watching. Please crush that like button. And remember, guys, horror can be fun. And if you enjoyed this, click right here to watch my review of The Pope's Exorcist. And I'll see you guys next time.